You guys know me obsessed with celebrities. I mean, when I'm not making videos, I'm spending 10, sometimes 11 hours a day loitering around all the LA hotspots and the small chance I could capture like a low light grainy cell phone picture of me and some useless D-list celebrity. It's tough, honest work, but somebody's got to do it. Listen, if I'm not out there working 10, 11 hour days trying to force Carrot Top to take a picture of me while he's trying to shop at Whole Foods, who the hell is? 25 year old Vanessa Sky Ellis spends every day on the hunt for celebrities. Are you from One Direction? No, if I need no? To, no? I have good news. I just found out there's a girl out there as dedicated as I am to forcing herself into every awkward photo opportunity with any single celebrity she can find, spending 10, 11, 12 hours a day doing it. And it feels good to finally not be alone in this endeavor. And over the past seven years, she's managed to grab over 10,000 autographs and pictures with famous people. This is Vanessa Sky Ellis, also known by the in crowd as Vanessa the Real MVP. She became a bit of a D-list celebrity herself when years ago, when Jersey Shore was at the height of its popularity, she became this de facto character because she was constantly just showing up on the show because she was always where Polly D was and she was effectively coined Polly D's stalker. So I'm watching Polly spin right now and I look behind him and I'm like, oh my God, that's Polly's stalker from the Z side. So naturally, with her newfound reality TV fame, she jumped at the opportunity to be featured on Barcroft TV for a couple million views, and even was featured on an episode of TLC's My Crazy Obsession. So I wanna take a peek at Vanessa the Real MVP's humble beginnings, and then see if today she still shares that same fire, that tenacity for celeb hunting as she did all those years ago. But first, let's talk about today's sponsor. <laughs> It's that time of the month again where we talk about these babies, my Raycon wireless earbuds. They're comfortable and stylish. I mean, hello. <laughs> these look damn good. And they're the perfect complement to my summer activities. I use them when I'm working out to listen to metal music. <laughs> and I use them to listen to podcasts and audiobooks when I'm on the go because metal music and learning are the two pillars of life. They sound excellent, the bass rips, and they're noise isolating. And by the way, they're half the price of other premium brands because Raycon wants everyone to experience great sound. Snoop Dogg and Mike Tyson are obsessed with Raycon earbuds, which is no surprise because you get six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and they come in a range of fun colors and patterns with no dangly ass wires flopping all around. They also charge in the case. So when you're done, you just pop them in your pocket and they're ready to go next time you need them. So if you're looking for a strong entry into the guild of premium wireless earbuds, buds look no further than Raycon. Hell, you get a 45 day free return window, so it's a no brainer to try them out. And as always, if you click the link in the description down below or go to buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush, you can get 15% off your very own pair. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Raycon for sponsoring creators we love. I appreciate you. I, I'll go after whoever, whenever. That's Mario Cantone. Who? Please. If you want to be the best at this game, you have to be non-discriminatory. I don't give a shit if you're Brad Pitt or some no-name scrub that had three lines of dialogue on a season four episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. If I see your ass out in public, I'm getting a fucking picture and you don't have a say in it. Celebrity spotting is the most important thing to me. It's more important than having a boyfriend, than going to work, than doing anything. What, what do you do for work, by the way? If you're celeb spotting for 10 hours a day, are you working the graveyard shift at 7-Eleven? Like, how the hell are you putting money in those pockets to afford film for those cameras? Vanessa works nights as a bartender, uh, so she can spend bartender. her days running around the city, tracking down celebrities. Maybe I only sleep like two hours of sleep, because then in the morning I have to wake up and go right back out again and do celebrity spotting. It's a thankless job, but you get nowhere if you're not persistent, as Vanessa said. It's more important than having a boyfriend, than going to work than doing anything. You think Jeff Bezos cared about girls or anything else other than building the world's biggest online retailer? You think that Steve Jobs was a joy to work for? No, he was notoriously terrible to work for because the only thing he gave a shit about were results in his business. And this is why I put someone like Vanessa in the same class as those two. Vanessa dedicates nearly eight hours a day to hunting down stars. Jesus. With just a small portion of the 10,000 photos she's taken over the years. This whole entire box is full of a whole bunch of photos of celebrities, and I have about 20, 30 different boxes. If you don't have an off site storage unit with 237 boxes full of Polaroids you forced celebrities to awkwardly be in with you, are you actually living your life? Wake up, sheeple. There's more to life than the rat race. You can chase your dreams like Vanessa here. And she doesn't favor one star over another. 
A photo with political figure Al Sharpton is just as treasured as a photo with Hollywood superstar Angelina Jolie. Indiscriminate. Like I said before, if you want to be the best, look no further than the real MVP here. A snapshot with Pat Sajak is just as good as meeting the Jersey Shore's Pauly D. Is it though? I mean, there's no such thing as a celebrity being an E-lister or a B-lister or a C-lister. They're all celebrities. See, now I'm curious. If we've achieved full equal... See, now I'm curious. If she believes in full celebrity equality where no one celeb is better or worse than the other, what's the entry to being one? Is Ricky Berwick just as much of a celebrity as LeBron James? Makes you think. Alan Cumming, Zach Efron, Hell Donny yeah. Osmond. Me getting another photo with somebody, that's me achieving. That makes me feel good. Jason Tam, Jason Tam, Jason Tam, Jason Tam. Just sadness, really, is what I feel when I watch stuff like this. Weird that they were, at the time, glorifying it almost, it feels like, because stalking, celebrity stalking, which they're calling it here, is uh, an incredibly horrendous and real problem that some victims of have uh, lost their life over. I imagine she's able to kind of pull this persona off because she lives within certain boundaries, uh, but stalking itself is is not good and usually the product of some sort of mental instability. Unless you're like 14 and just a victim of stand culture and you're like obsessed with Minecraft YouTubers, you have Ariana Grande as your Twitter profile picture, you get a pass for like a couple years, but if you hit like 18, 19, 20 at the upper limit and you're still on some shit like this, you got, you need like a padded, you need a padded room probably. Let's see what Barcroft has to say about her. Yeah, take it, my love, as we go. Take Thank it, you. Right here, please. Take it as we go, Amazing. Family. Orlando, you didn't come out. Oh, Orlando, please. Orlando. Orlando. You promised me on the way in, Orlando. One more picture. Orlando, you promised Sweet, me on the way in, please. I said, take it as we go. And then go off awesome. the he literally turned the fan next to her was like, she's killing me. Crazy. Why you would ever want to be that much of a nuisance for like a picture? I'll, I'll never understand it. But I also want to, I also want to make the caveat that I know nothing about this girl, Vanessa Ellis, uh, her background, her family life, anything. So there's maybe some sort of trauma or some sort of void she's trying to fill or some sad, like, you know what I mean? Everyone's got their own story. This is clearly the thing for her that makes her happy. And like... Yeah, as long as it's not taken to a level that's uh, dangerous, you know, just it, it stops it just being the nuisance, then whatever. What are you gonna What are you gonna say about it? I just have trouble wrapping my head around this kind of uh, grind. I guess we'll call it. Every day, Vanessa goes on a mission to add to her enormous collection of photos of famous people. Imagine if I just narrated my videos like that. Every day, Vanessa goes on a mission to add to her enormous collection of celebrity photos. Outside her part-time job, the dedicated fan isn't afraid to put the hours into her unusual pastime. That's what I'm talking about. I would about. say probably at least six hours a day. When Cher was in town, I waited like a whole week. <laughs> Please, you only waited a week in town to see Cher? Bitch, when five seconds of summer came to Boston, I camped outside of the garden for two and a half months, just in case they randomly decided to do a two-month early dress rehearsal. Turns out... They didn't, I, and I never got a picture with them, but it was probably the best two and a half months of my life because I was doing what I love. Well, mate, Vanessa's obsession began at the tender age of five after a trip to Vegas with her mum, also an avid collector of celebrity photos. Since the death of her mother, Vanessa has made it her quest to snap as many stars as possible. Okay, now we're starting to see the picture a little more. It might be tied to her uh, keeping her mother's legacy alive after having lost her at a young age, okay? I really personally feel like I have to continue getting celebrities just the same way that she did. Makes a little more sense. Johnny Depp is definitely my favorite, all-time favorite. He dropped that gorgeous. I mean, facts. Brad Pitt, definitely hot, always hot. Tom Cruise. That's probably like my second favorite guy. Um, in case any of you were questioning her work ethic, she just pulled out the anti-aircraft artillery of weapons and dropped a Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Johnny Depp on your ass. The trifecta of male sex appeal. I mean, at this rate, Vanessa's like the Mr. Beast of celebrity stalking. One time I waited outside a hotel for like 12 hours for Vanilla Ice. All right, stop. <laughs> Collaborate and listen. Ice is back, got a brand new invention. However, today's waiting doesn't seem to be paying off. Orlando, can I get a quick photo, please? Woo! 
snuffed. You don't hit them on the way in. You gotta wait till they come out and everyone's already gathered around. It's common protocol. And by the way, hold on a second. You promised me on the way in, Orlando. I'm sorry, you promised me on the way in, Orlando, run it back. Can I get a quick photo, please? I mean, did that sound like a promise to you? I didn't, I just, <laughs> you smell that? It smells like cap! If my boyfriend told me it was either him or my celebrities, I would have to tell him that it's my celebrities because there's other guys around. Can't argue with that. Listen, if my wife told me it was either her or my Xbox 360, <laughs> I would have to tell her my Xbox 360 because at least that knows how to make a fucking sandwich. <laughs> After hours of waiting, her dedication has finally paid off. <laughs> Look at his face, dude. He's bullshit right now. He's just like, finally it paid off. I got my picture of Orlando Bloom looking bullshit, and he didn't rip my head off for being an obnoxious prick. Can't be any more better than this. Finally accomplished. You know the old adage about celebrity photos. It doesn't get more better than that. So sad she spends her whole life stalking celebrities who are clearly irritated by her. Uh, yeah, that pretty much sums up the whole fucking thing, quite frankly. So fast forward a bunch of years, Vanessa, still hard at work, I'm sure, made a reappearance on the Jersey Shore reunion and traveled from Jersey down to Miami to stalk Pauly D at a DJ set. Vanessa, the stalker! Oh my god! Holy what do I do? <laughs> Straight up crept on him. She was like shoulder to shoulder with a mid-DJ set and he was just like, Oh, fuck! What do I do? Thank her for coming? <laughs> Just been like I'm visiting my aunt. Thought I'd catch your DJ set. She's like, no, I I travel across the country to come stand behind you while you play your DJ set. Now spin the discs, you disc jockey motherfucker. <laughs> okay, okay, fuck. <laughs> but I have a moment. I'm like, is she a stalker or a super supporter? She has on the iHeart Poly D shirt. She got from the T-shirt shop. Full blown Poly D tattoo. Vanessa is the real MVP. And there is the story, I guess, of why she calls herself the real MVP. Credit to Polly D for handling that with absolute class, by the way. Now, I don't want to give anyone too much credit. I imagine the producers probably had something to do with getting Vanessa out there to make a reappearance on the show since she was kind of a big part in the original series on MTV. But the point remains, stalking is creepy and weird as fuck. Don't do it. Well, I hope Vanessa's doing well since the Jersey Shore reunion wrapped up. Uh, fortunately for us, she has a TikTok, so we can kind of see what she's been up to uh, recently. You don't even exist to me. You don't even exist. You are nothing. You are shit. You don't exist. The only way you know how to treat women is by treating them like whores when you're the whore! And that's gonna stop! Do you understand? you understand what I'm saying? I'm sorry. He's sorry! Oh, he's sorry! Okay, that was uh, <clears throat> something. They can't all be that fucking weird, can they? <clears throat> Pretty good. I like the hair. Pretty good. Like From one week ago, she found Bolly D again. She's in fucking business, baby. Absolutely warms my heart to see that Vanessa still got it. Fucking sucks for Polly D, but you know what? Life is a bit of a lottery sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> there is a difference between being obsessed with photos with celebrities and being a super fan of someone and actual dangerous stock. And I like to think Vanessa's the former, but don't ever fucking lie to me again about Orlando Bloom making a promise to you because I'm gonna stop giving you the benefit of the doubt, bitch. Anywho, why don't you do yourself a favor and pull down your pants and wait two weeks outside of the like button below this video and then hip thrust the fuck out of it after you've successfully stalked it. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you decided to do that, that would mean the world to me. And if I'm being honest with you, I cannot wait to see you uh, in the next video. Really looking forward to it. I appreciate your time as always. Be well. Peace. Yeah. Thanks. 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 Thanks.